Hi guys, my name is Anuj Indal. Welcome to Morning Tales for 22nd August 2019. So, I want you to watch the entire lesson for today because the 10th question that I'm going to discuss is the most important for today's uh, lesson, in today's lesson. And, and I know it's going to be asked in the examination and I know that majority of you will get it wrong if I don't discuss it today. So, watch till the end. Uh, remember the last question that I'm going to discuss and remember the remember the uh, key point as well from that question all the other questions for today are also very important a lot of news that i encountered today morning the first question is according to companies share capital and debenture rules 2019 debenture redemption reserve is required to be created by which of the following industry now recently the company share capital and debenture rules have said or uh, have been changed and now they say that nbfc's housing finance companies and listed companies. These three are not required to create any debenture redemption reserve. On the other hand, the debenture redemption reserve requirement for unlisted companies has been changed from 25% to just 10%. So two questions I have created for you here. Remember both these questions. The answer to this question is unlisted companies and what is the DRR requirement? 10% and not 25% another question. Second question, more factual but important one. Which country will host the Rugby World Cup 2019? As is mentioned in the uh, picture as well, it's Japan. It's going to be held in Japan in the year 2019. Third question, with which company has Indian Institute of Science signed an MOU to conduct research in autonomous systems, robotics and 5G? Indian Institute of Science, IASC, has signed an MOU with Wipro for these kinds of researches and MOUs have often been asked specifically in RBN and SEBI. So important one. Fourth question, with which university has NICE, National Institute of Solar Energy, signed an MOU to achieve the objective of JNN URM, a part of which is Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission, JNN SM. It is uh, Shri Mata Vaishno Devi University, a very unlikely university, but it has come on the national stage by signing this, this MOU with National Institute of Solar Energy. Next question is with which Indian company has Merx partnered to expand its logistics sector? So Merx is an important uh, uh, player in the movement of goods across the shores from one country to the other. To the other. And now they are getting into land logistics, wherein after, let's say, they entered India and they dropped the goods, they are also going to move the goods on land from one state to the other. So they have for this partnered with a company called Black Buck in India. An important question, I believe. Where is Kamlang Wildlife Sanctuary located? One of the most beautiful questions for today. Kamlang Wildlife Sanctuary also uh, a tiger reserve called as Kamlang Tiger Reserve is in Arunachal Pradesh. Second important thing here is in Kamlang Tiger Reserve, the number of tigers had reduced to zero in the year 2009, but now it has increased again to 29, and which is a great feat for a great achievement for this tiger reserve because increasing the number of tigers is a very difficult task. In fact, the number of tigers have increased in all major tiger reserves in the entire country and the da data was recently published by Prime Minister Modi. Who is the head of Telecom Regulatory Authority of India? He was uh, 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 very recently in news. That's why this question, the answer is Ram Sevak Sharma. Chairman of IRDAI, also in news recently, the answer is Subhash Chandra Khuntia. You have to remember these names. Uh, CEO of Oriental Bank of Commerce, Mukesh Kumar Jain, D, that is the answer. Please tell me the name of CEO of uh, and MD of uh, State Bank of India in the comment section below. One of the biggest banks, therefore, important question. You can also tell me the CEO and MD of all the three systemic, uh, systemically important banks. I am not going to tell you the names of these systemically important banks. So, you have to identify what are these three systemically important banks and who is the MD and CEO of these banks. Now, the last question for today, which I said is going to be the most important one. How many countries are a part of European Union? Looks very simple, right? 28 members presently a part of European Union. But as soon as United Kingdom moves out, 
it's going to be 27. Officially, it is still 28 and therefore if the uh, options come as 28 or 27 tomorrow in the examination, then you mark it as 28. However, as soon as the website changes it and as soon as United Kingdom completely moves out of European Union under Brexit, it changes to 27. Okay, looks a very simple question, very confusing at times and at the same time, majority of us are expected to get it wrong if we don't discuss it regularly. Okay, as soon as uh, the Brexit is complete for UK, I will also uh, tell you that the number has reduced from 28 to 27 in the European Union. Another important question specifically for phase 2 of RBI and SEBI, which kind, which kind of union is a European Union? There is a trade union, there is a, a custom union, there is an economic union, there is a political union. What kind of union is a European Union? You have to answer this question to me. You have to find out what kind of union is a, is a European Union and at the same time, what different kinds of unions exist. What are the different kinds and different levels and the features of different kinds of unions that exist in the world? Is India a part of any union or not? Another question that can be asked in the examination very much. Okay, So all these are important things related to unions and I wanted to discuss this with you because I thought it's a very interesting question and at the same time a lot of interesting questions can be created from a European Union. So this was all for Morning Tales for 22nd August. I hope you like this session. The answer to this is 28. You can fill in your details and you can find out how many did you get it right, how many did you get wrong. And that is a big, uh, you know, step up in the form of quizzes that you can take online. All the very best. Have a nice day. Take care.